Okay guys, um, this is how you install Terradrome. First you gotta get online. Terradrome, first of all, is only made for PC. It's not for any console, strictly PC. No Android, strictly PC. So go to your search engine and write Terradrome. And uh, you'll find it under here, Terradrome, the game dot com, Rise of the Boogeyman. Click on it. It'll take you to the page. Check out the page. It's, it's um, really, really awesome. Well, next you will go under download. And... You can click on media fire right here. It'll take you to this page. We'll link you to this. You click download. And then there you have it. You um, save the file. It'll ask where you want it to save it. Since I already have it, I'm not going to go through it. It's going to take a while and for it to download. Now, once you get it, you go to wherever it downloaded, you click on it. And you just hit next and just follow the steps and you install it. I already have it installed. So I'm not going to install it. After you install it, it installs on your desktop. It says Terror Drone Launcher. Click it. It'll load up. You want to go online, click on Start Online Multiplayer Client. Now, if you're a person who likes to use joysticks and stuff like that, you would click on the last one. But I use keyboard. Since the game was made to play that way, it works a lot smoother. It'll give you a box, and then it will load up. It loads up. You put your nickname here, whatever you want to be called, a description if you like. And then you either click host or client. Either one will work. But host seems to work the best because when you click it, that means you can play anybody in the room. Now, if you click client, you can only play host in the room, which you're limited. When you're in client mode, your name will be in black. And when you're in host, your name will be in blue. Now, don't change the server name, don't change the ports, don't change the address. All you do is just give yourself a nickname description, click on host there, and just click OK, and boom, you're on. As you see, I'm host, I'm in blue. Now, in the bottom corner over here, it says rest. Now, you see my name is in white. That means I'm playable. Now, if I don't want to play anybody, just want to be in the room and chat, click this button over here that says rest. Your name will be in yellow. When you're in yellow, you can't play anybody. And you, can, you can just click it on and off. Now, in order to play somebody or play yourself, you have to be in the white mode. And then you hit game. Or you can click on your name twice. Click on game. The game will start. You play yourself on here. Now, if you want to play someone else, as an example, since there's nobody in the room, see the, say, I'm I'm ter Terradrome server, and I'm going to play Dead Star Fox. You just click on the name and hit fight, and your game should start up to play with that person. Now... If you can't play in host mode with that person, try switching in client mode, which you will hit in the very bottom corner, the little C arrow button. You click it, it'll take you off the server, and you can just click client, 
and you're back in the room in black mode. If you can't play it, anybody in black or in blue mode, have them try to challenge you in either mode. And if that doesn't work, it just means you guys, your, your connection is so bad, you can't play that person. You just switch back and forth from host to client. But um, that is pretty much how you get on here. Also, if, if you can't get on here, it keeps on giving you an error. Try turning off like um, some malware programs you have or virus detectors. For some reason, it blocks it and you can't get on. I wasn't able to get on. Uh, because I had a malware that wasn't allowing me to get on here. So I had to use it as a web exclusion to let it play, be playable again. I never had this problem, but apparently I guess the malware bytes was updated and um, it, it started working better. That's pretty much it. Now, if you try to install it and it doesn't work, if your system is old, um, then you have to um, install more stuff on it, like uh, more software. Like, you can go back to the Terror Drone page, and I think it's on Frequently Asked Questions. And I thought there was a little section on here. Nope, I don't think it was on here. It could be in downloads and I just oversaw it. No, I guess not. Well, there is a little section. Oh, multiplayer. Click on the multiplayer. Because apparently, for some reason, you can install a game and it'll let you play it offline. But if you have problems with multiplayer, go on to where it says multiplayer and install this uh, Visual C if um, you don't have it. If you have the 32-bit, you would click here and the 64, and you would click there. Also, you would need Net Framework 4 and you can get it here by clicking on these links and your that's if you're having problems with your multiplayer client and um, you should be running if you have an old older system well that's pretty much it also um if you guys are supportive um go to there's a facebook group called terror drome online go here join the group so anytime you want to go play online just go in this room and as an example right here just post your online give the day or whatever the time and just click on and just um let other people in the group um, be notified and um, so that when you go online, you can have somebody to challenge. It, it really helps out pretty good. So, you know, yeah, it's go to, it's a Facebook group. It's called Terror Drome Online. Join it so that the next time you play Terror Drome, you don't end up seeing this, what you're about to see, which um, it's going to be nobody in there. So, you know, join that group, let them alert every time you're playing, and you get to challenge somebody. In the meantime, y'all guys have a great day, and thanks for your time.